Hey everybody, welcome to the Anxiety Project podcast number six. I am Brad Robinson and today I am going to dive right in and talk about anxiety and the overwhelming feeling of, you know, sensations in your body and the one that really got me and I'm, I'm sure it's got you too, the foggy um brain feeling and the you know the pressure behind your eyeballs and and it's just like being disconnected from the people around you being di- disconnected from the present moment and there's a lot of reasons why you are disconnected from the present moment and you're just like wondering how do i get out of this state what can i do right now in order to better myself in order to get into the present moment in order to have that confidence that you really want now there's a lot of ways i go about it um it's just pretty much implementing daily habits that kind of snowball And into the next day, because when we really go to bed at night, it's what we really do before we go to bed that really snowballs into our dreams. And then it continues on the next day. So if we're going to bed with our phones, um, texting people, if we're really on YouTube or watching movies or, you know, stuff like that. And then we go to bed, it kind of goes into our dreams, um, that stress from the television and the movies and stuff like that, it kind of goes into our dreams. We kind of get tend to have more stressful dreams. We wake up, we feel a little bit more exhausted than we should, even though we slept for eight hours. And then like, why do I, am I feeling so tired? And, and like, and then you start like questioning all your sensations and like so you start getting grumpy and stuff like that. So we have to implement, whether you suffer from anxiety or not, we have to implement daily routines that will help our character and will help our happiness. And when we, at night, when we try to unwind, let's put away the phones completely. I always go with this, no stimulation two hours before you put your head on that pillow. No stimulation at all. You read a book, take a hot bath. You have to reward yourself for the hard work that you're doing throughout the day. If you're coming home and you turn on that TV and you just want to forget the world, forget the problems, forget the stress, you know... That's not the best way to go about it because the problems will still be there subconsciously when you leave that living room or shut off that TV. All those problems will still be there, okay? This is really important, okay? That we shut off from the television and the outside world and then we kind of sit with ourselves, you know? Implement you know, a meditation before bed. I like to do breathing exercises that kind of get me into a high kind of state. And I'm, and I'm able to um, talk to my subconscious in that high state, which, which is really important, you know, like trying to rewire my old belief system into um, a new belief system. You know, are you always judging people daily? Are you always criticizing people or getting flustered at people? Then, you know, we got to implement a new belief system, you know, where we can understand and be more humble towards people and, 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 you know, have a a more confident um, character when we are with other people during the day, especially when we have a lot of stress at our job. You know, we can, I noticed that when, when I recovered and my higher self emerged, I was able to handle stressful days so much better. And that's the reason is because I implement a morning routine that is solid, okay? And this is super important, the morning routine. And if you don't have a morning routine, you need to get one right now. Because if you follow The Rock, 
if you if you follow say all of these celebrities or famous people or or musicians that you know are very successful they have a morning routine set in place and what they do is, you know, you'll hear about them going to the gym, you'll hear about them running, you'll hear about them doing yoga or meditation, and they have a solid routine daily that kind of gets them into their zone and it gives them a sense of purpose. Like it, it it's like a, what's the word I'm trying to think of? It's a goal setting um, kind of you know, routine, it, it, it gets you into a place of, you know, I have some purpose today. My purpose is this. And so when we sit down to meditate, I usually think of three things that I want to accomplish. Okay. Three things that I want to accomplish. Now I think about it. I visualize it as I'm meditating there. And uh, I, I, I feel it, you know, I, I, I have a vision of myself with, bi- with, a uh, with, with confidence, with, you know, great posture, with, I'm speaking clearly to people, I am laughing and joking with people, you know, and I, I visualize all the, the things that I want, you know, um, and when you visualize these things that you want to accomplish or that you want in life, it's the law of attraction. And w- when you start implementing positive change in your life, these things will come to you. And I say this because I've witnessed it. I've, w- I've witnessed all of the, the positive change that has happened in my life over the past year. And all of the things that I wanted came to me. And... And it's because when we think of positive things and we think of things that will benefit us and we start implementing positive change and we start acting differently around people and we start challenging ourselves, then things will come to you, good things. And you'll you'll notice that there's a lot more positive things in your life than negative things. Because we will start focusing on positive things, right? Instead of negative things. If you suffer from anxiety and you have some depression, you're focusing too much on the bad things in your life. You're focusing too much on the negative things that are happening to you. And if you keep focusing on the bad things in your life, the bad things will keep coming to you. This is the secret. If you've read the book, The Secret, you would know this. If you haven't read that book, I urge you to pick up the book, read it. It talks about this and it has been proven and I've noticed it in my life that it has happened, okay? The law of attraction. That's what I'm talking about when you get up in the morning and you do your morning routine, you are implementing the law of attraction, you want to build more, um, you want to be a, so- a social butterfly, then, you know, when you're meditating, visualize what it will look like. You being a social butterfly, butterfly, you with the confidence, standing around all these people, joking, laughing, whatever, visualize that because it will come to you. If you keep visualizing that, It'll come to you, I promise, okay? That's why when you have a tough day ahead, when you are nervous about like a presentation you have to do or or you're scared they're going to have a panic attack when you go out with your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever it is, you know, you have to visualize the event going the way you want it to go. So if you're really nervous about going out later or, or speaking in front of people, Here's the best way to go about it. Meditate on it and visualize how you want it to go. It works. Visualize yourself standing with your back straight and you're speaking clearly um, out towards all these people or you're out to dinner and your your posture's great and you're, you're, you know, you're laughing with your boyfriend or girlfriend. 
that's the law of attraction. It'll come to you, okay? It may not come to you right away because you've been practicing anxiety and depression a lot. You've been into in a negative state a long time. So I urge you to develop a morning routine. Get a visualization exercise going, okay? Get into that zone where you can visualize yourself in a better state, getting the things that you really want and, and the things that really matter to you, okay? That's what I'm talking about. When you implement positive change, positive things will happen, I promise. There's always going to be a bumpy road. The road to recovery is a windy road, and there's going to be a lot of bad days, and there's going to be a lot of good days, but it's a challenge that you have to get on because if you want to prove to your old self that you can be better than that, that you can overcome these addictions in your life that have been making your life uh, worse, like having those two beers after that long day of work is not the best way to go. You know, I've been around people that have worked 13 hours, uh, me with them, I've worked 13 hours to 14 hours a day with these people, and they tell me that they go home and they have a couple beers, right? And they, you know, have burgers and then they watch TV and they go to bed and they come into work. Like they do this on a regular basis. And when I go home, I have tea, I have some foods that help me um, when I sleep, you know, like there are some foods that are good for you before bed, Re research those foods and implement a night routine where it's going to benefit you later on like i enjoy some mixed nuts when i go get home i enjoy some you know some chicken or some rice or whatever you know some healthy th foods that will you know benefit you the following morning don't indulge in junk food all the time okay now you know when you start getting onto a path and you start noticing your mood is changing and you start paying attention to the environment and you start like challenging yourself daily, you know, maybe, you know, home in on people's eyes more because a lot of the t a lot of the time when you suffer from anxiety like I did, I didn't really I, I didn't really want to look into people's eyes when I spoke to them kind of like I kind of look away a bit and and stuff like that but you know hold their hold the hold their eyes you know like when you speak to them and stuff like that so challenge yourself when you on a daily basis and you'll notice the your change in character you will start acting and feeling different okay and these are a few of the major um, skills that I've learned, you know, the meditation, the law of attraction. And these are the, the like major, major, um, you know, skills and, and, and habits I developed. And when you start implementing change and you start writing down like your checklist of 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 like things that really bother you or, or that you've noticed that you know that you want to change maybe it's your diet or maybe you're smoking or something or or maybe it's other things like you have a lot of negativity towards um, things throughout the day you're judging people too much you know notice these things notice that um you know, like if you slur your speech or you're not really and you, you kind of kick yourself in the butt when you talk to somebody, you, you sort of you think you embarrass yourself and then you kind of like kicking yourself. You know, when these these things happen, we have to come come to realize that, you know, we're on the road to being a better person. And so stop kicking yourself too much, because what you're doing now is is really, really something. You're really changing, you know. You what you're doing is you're you're becoming somebody that 
you you're not you're 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 getting into the shoes of somebody else and the whole, this whole process is about changing who you are completely completely because when you start becoming somebody else the person that you can be proud of and when you start implementing this change and 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 setting new goals for yourself and 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 change your diet and everything like this start exercising more and and you, you you're starting to rewire your brain where you know these old habits of mine these old thinking habits are changing and you'll you'll be a, re- a very happy person you're actually going to end up helping other people more because when i was recovering i started to care about other people more than myself i started to help other people at the workplace i started to you know take the load off of them you know look out for other people and when you start looking out for other people you'll notice that people will start coming around you more and that's the law of attraction people will come to you and and want to be around you and want to and want to work with you and and you know your presence will have a glowing golden light around you right and that's what i mean about developing a new character becoming a new person is that you have to step out of your comfort zone in order to get there you have to start developing a different mindset to get there and if you start following some of my teachings then you will you will become that person you will get there and it's been done many times if if you if you're hanging around people and they're not telling you how to do things. If they're telling you what to do, but not how to do it. Run away from them. Run away because you, you, you got to know the, the steps in order to take to become that person. You can't just go on the internet and look at quotes all the time, qu- inspiring quotes. That doesn't get you anywhere. That you need to rewire your brain, and, and that comes with CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy and that's when I started to wear an elastic band on my wrist and when a negative thought came up or a a disturbing thought you know I would slap that elastic band and I would change the thought into a new thought okay so there's it's a long process there are many ways to go about this process and you need to take one baby step at a time I know it's a lot to take in but re-listen to this again over and over again and write write this stuff down okay and start writing down things in your life that you really want it to change and start writing things down um, from your past childhood that has really you know just dis- has disturbed you when you were a kid you know the because when we're when we're a kid from ages 0 to 10 we don't really we're like a sponge we're absorbing all of this stuff and all of other people's beliefs into us and now that we're older all those beliefs that were ingrained in us as children you know are, are affecting our anxiety and you know past traumatic events even So we have to go back and relive those events and we have to rewire our brain. We have to write down things that really impacted us as as children, you know, things that have really bothered us and now write them down. Write them down and observe them and, you know, rewire them. And when I say rewire them, replay the events in your brain so sit down quietly close your eyes and replay those traumatic events and and then start rewiring them and i mean that when i say rewire i mean we have to replay the movie 
and then we have to look at it differently. We have to say, well, you know, I was just a child back then. You know, I know that happened to me, but, you know, that parent didn't know better because they were probably raised differently. You know, maybe I got, you got hit as a child and, you know, maybe something happened to you or maybe you had abusive parents or something like that. Go back and relive it. Okay, relive the whole experience and and just re and just re go over it again. Okay, go over it again and just think about it differently. You know, maybe the the your your mom or dad had a belief system that was from their mom and or their that dad, right? So there's a lot to learn here. I know it's probably overwhelming. But listen to it again and again and again, and then start implementing this into your life. I love you all so much. That's why I am here. I hope you've learned something. I hope you commit to change and come back for number seven. It will be up shortly. I love you all. Have a great day.